there was a good christian brother when he was thinking about his weaknesses he used to be afraid even for small things and he used to think negatively will it happen many times the fear made him to be terrorized even in trivial things so he thought why should i fear i am a child of god then god reminded him of the verse second timothy first seven but god hath not given us the spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind god has not given the spirit of fear he was much encouraged by this verse Dear people, or dear person who is afraid in many things, in small things, look at the life of Jesus Christ, the great and courageous man he was. Yes, he lived courageously in the midst of all oppositions. Even in the Garden of Gethsemane, when the people were coming to arrest him, he said, Whom do you seek? He was just going forward. and they fell down what a man of courage yes this god man jesus christ he completely relied on the father even when he was standing before pilate the pilate said don't you know that i have authority to release you and jesus said no unless the authority is given from above you don't have authority what a man of courage he is until the death he was courageous and paul take him such a man of courage timothy used to be very uh, he was a man of uh, weak uh, not full of courage like saint paul he used to be afraid he was a tender boy but saint paul writes to him god has not given before the verse was telling about the ministry that he must really revive himself and after that god has not given us the spirit of fear but the spirit of the power and love and of a sound mind dear friends what a gracious and great god is let us live courageously in the midst of all things what will happen unless god allows it god is in control of all things and for a christian to be afraid is not right even in everything any situation let us be bold enough because god is with us may the lord give you such a courage amen